most epic transport operations of all time. Transportation is a pretty all-encompassing word when you think about it. There are so many forms of transportation that we sometimes take for granted how easy it can be to go from one place to another. There are planes, trains, boats, cars, bikes, walking, you name it. Not to mention the subcategories of each with private jets, Ubers, so on and so on. But, not every transportation situation is as simple as bringing a person from one place to another. No, sometimes the task is a much more difficult one. Think, huge objects that simply can't be moved by any traditional mode of transportation. So in this video, we're going to go over some of the most epic transport operations of all time. Number 1. Nassau Space Shuttle Transports Starting off this list, we have a pretty significant one. NASA is the main national agency responsible for space research and exploration. So naturally, they're in charge of building giant rockets that will be shot up into space. On that same token, they're responsible for moving these rockets from the building site to the launch site when it's finally time for liftoff day. The problem is, these things are big and heavy. So, to actually transport these space shuttles, NASA uses what they call Mission Crawler Transport Facilities to load up the shuttle and carry it over to the site. And these things have some power to them. The Mission Crawler Transport Facilities weigh in at about 3,000 tons, or 6 million pounds. 30 different drivers, technicians, and engineers are responsible for actually operating these transport operations, and it's plain to see why. Transporting a NASA space shuttle to the launch site doesn't exactly seem like the easiest of tasks. Number 2. The Bagger 288 If you thought a space shuttle was big, just wait until you hear about the Bagger 288. Known as a bucket wheel excavator, this thing was created by the Krupp Company in Germany for the energy and mining firm known as Rheinbraun. It was completed in 1978 and has since even been called the biggest machine in the world. Whether that's actually accurate or not, who's to say? But there's no secret as to why many might think that. The Bagger 288 weighs in at a whopping 13,500 tons, or almost 30 million pounds. It's 315 feet tall, 721 feet long, and moves incredibly slow. It moves at a speed of about 0.2 miles per hour. Yeah. Because of this slow speed, the Bagger 288 actually isn't transportable in its own right. Instead, it is the catalyst for some of the most efficient and high-production coal transports in the world, sending thousands of vehicles on German roads each day. So, this monster of a machine is responsible for a huge transport of coal. Many might ask why a machine this big was even necessary, and that's a valid question. The truth is, these Bagger 288s are fairly controversial thanks to their environmental impact. But, as is the case with most things in this world, money was the driving force. The creation of a Bagger 288 costs about $100 million, which is a pretty steep price tag. But when you consider the fact they can excavate over 240,000 tons of coal on a daily basis, that's efficient. Number 3. An Elephant Now, this may seem a little weird considering elephants can sort of transport themselves since they, you know, have working legs. But every once in a while, zoos around the world like to buy and sell elephants for their respective habitats. It's an interesting and perhaps questionable practice to say the least, but the transport operation for moving elephants is definitely thorough. Elephants on average weigh around 5 tons or 10,000 pounds. You can imagine that moving them from one place to another is a pretty tedious process. 
So, naturally, there's a company that specializes in this very specific form of transport known as Stephen Fritz Enterprises. Their process for transporting elephants goes a little like this. The company drops off a temperature-controlled crate at the zoo, so the zookeepers can train the elephant to go into the crate at a specific time each day, a time that will eventually be when the elephant is moved. They like to make sure the elephant is comfortable in the crate, and when they are, then it's time for the crate team to take action. They secure the crate and lift it up with a very powerful forklift. To ensure that the elephant isn't rattled or nervous, this forklift only lifts and lowers the crate in two-inch increments. After it's loaded, they're off and on the road, moving the elephant to its next destination. The team even stops every two to three hours to make sure that the elephant is feeling okay by checking its vitals and giving it some snacks, too. The company just continues this process slowly until the elephant finally arrives at its new home. Number 4. Bullwinkle When you think of the tallest structures in the world, you probably think of things like the Burj Khalifa or maybe a TV transmitter tower. You don't really think of an oil rig. But the oil rig known as Bullwinkle is a case of something being, well, surprisingly large. Not many people know the details about oil rigs and the process of actually drilling and cultivating oil. And not many people really need to know. But in the case of Bullwinkle, it's something worth sharing. In order to build this oil rig, they needed to use over 10 times the amount of steel used in the Eiffel Tower. So when the construction of it was completed in Texas in 1988, the rig had to be transported to the Gulf of Mexico. Worth around $500 million, excellent care was put into this transportation. It was brought over 300 nautical miles to its resting location, where its legs were then filled entirely with water so it could sink to the ocean floor. This is a pretty common practice for placing oil rigs in the water, but even that much more spectacular when you consider the size of Bullwinkle. Now, Bullwinkle pumps out over 59,000 barrels of oil on the daily, so the money it's brought in absolutely makes up for the money spent in constructing this rig. Not only is Bullwinkle gigantic in stature, but it's also a hugely valuable asset. Before we get to the next half of the list, be sure to leave a like on the video if you've been enjoying these transport operations so far. And let us know in the comments which has been the most interesting of the operations up to this point. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. Now on with the list. Number 5. The Statue of Liberty One of the most iconic structures in the United States, and even the world, the Statue of Liberty has been the face of the nation for well over a century. It was famously gifted to the U.S. in 1885 by France as a symbol of the two nations' relationship. But the Statue of Liberty is very big, and the United States and France are not necessarily close. Actually, there's a whole ocean and a couple of countries separating them. So transporting the statue was no easy task for the French. The first step was to disassemble the statue into over 300 different pieces, which were then stuffed into 200 crates and packed onto a cargo ship. The ship set sail on the Atlantic Ocean and trekked over to America. When it arrived in June of 1885, the reconstruction of the Statue of Liberty immediately started up. The pedestal was the first piece to be placed, which of course made sense. When you have a statue this large, it needs a solid foundation. Following the pedestal, the rest of the copper and iron pieces were put together, but it took some time. A year after its arrival, the Statue of Liberty was finally completed. Following the completion, 
President Grover Cleveland held a public ceremony to recognize the statue and its significance. Since that day, the Statue of Liberty has stood tall as a symbol of the United States of America. Number 6. Gigantic Boats and Marine Vessels Now, obviously boats are, in and of themselves, a form of transportation. Their avenue of transportation is, of course, the water. But, sometimes, boats and other marine vessels are so badly damaged that they must be brought on land and transported to different areas of facilities away from the water. For these massive transport operations, crews and companies use something called an SPMT, self-propelled modular transporters, sometimes known as self-propelled modular trailers, are platform vehicles with a large array of wheels. The wheels on these huge transports are actually controlled individually, allowing for several SPMTs to be linked at one time for bigger missions, if necessary. There haven't been too many instances of these machines actually needing to be used, but there was a situation in 2019 that called for an SPMT's help. A Chilean research ship was caught in a tsunami, ultimately getting dislodged from the harbor and ending up beached and quite damaged. For a boat that weighed over 3,000 tons, or 6 million pounds, it was safe to assume that this thing was fairly unsavable. And yet, an SPMT came to the rescue and transported this Chilean ship right back into the water. Crazy stories like this are just the tip of the iceberg for SPMTs. For example, in 2017, a Chinese ferry capsized in the East China Sea and sank to the bottom. The behemoth weighed a whopping 17,000 tons, but it still wasn't too much for a chain of SPMTs. The ferry was lifted onto them and transported to a different location so it could be scrapped. It was just another case that showcased the true power of these self-propelled modular transports. Number 7. An Entire Island Dubai is no stranger to crazy luxury. It's something that draws people to the city each year, whether it's just to visit or to call it home. One of these points of luxury is Palm Jumeirah Island, a completely man-made island full of fancy resorts and high-rise apartment buildings. This artificial outcrop was completely constructed of sand and rock and designed in the shape of a palm tree, hence the name Palm Jumeirah Island. But to say it's made of sand and rock is kind of an understatement. Actually, over 5.5 million cubic meters of rock, 94 million cubic meters of sand, and 700 tons of limestone were used to create this island. For a project of this scale, it's no surprise there were some massive transport operations put into place. However, as impressive as this construction may seem, it ended up having a fairly negative effect on Dubai's marine ecosystem. Since wave patterns were so disrupted thanks to the massive transportation operations, that brought all of the sand and rock to the area, new species migrated to the area, and other species were affected thanks to the sand being moved so heavily. Unfortunately, many young marine animals weren't able to survive the tumultuous changes. So, Dubai did the only thing they could do and called in the Coastal Monitoring Program in order to keep track of the changes and find new solutions to maintain the marine ecosystem. Since then, the marine life in Dubai has nearly recovered, but it's just another testament to the environmental toll these large construction projects can create. To end off this list, we have the literal largest structure to ever be transported by man. Yeah, you heard that right. The Troll A platform is an offshore natural gas platform operated by a company known as Equinor. Not only does it hold a record for being the largest offshore gas platform, 
but as of today, it's the heaviest and tallest structure to ever be moved to another position. This, of course, makes it one of the most complicated engineering feats in history. Standing at 1,549 feet, with an overall weight of 689,000 tons, or 1,378,000,000 pounds, this thing is massive. And I mean massive. Naturally, when Troll A was constructed, there were several safety precautions put in place to make sure that any mishaps would cause the most minimal amount of damage possible. The concrete legs of the structure are a full meter thick and have measures in place that save the other two from collapsing if one is to break. Additionally, there are several weight-registered anchors at the bottom of the platform to keep it as still and immovable as possible. But before any of these facets could even be put to the test, it had to be brought out into the North Sea near the country of Norway. It was a televised event that showcased the monstrous task of transporting this crazy large oil platform. Moving Troll A an inch would be a big feat, let alone moving it all the out, out into the ocean. And so, this was one for the history books. And that does it for our list of the most epic transport operations in history. Did any of them surprise you? Be sure to let us know in the comments below which of these was the most epic to you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more of our content. Thanks for watching.